this is cool. So a uh, Phalaenopsis orchid's going into bloom now due to the temperature change. So Phalaenopsis orchids, because it's getting colder in the greenhouse since it's, we're now in summer, the temperature is subtly changing a little bit. Noticeable for this orchid right here, this is a Phalaenopsis, which will flower in temperature changes, very subtle ones. And look at this, it's putting out one right now. So this is gonna be a new flower strike. Flower spike comes out of the side there. And um, yeah, some really cool to document its progress. This is a common orchid, but it's just really fun to watch. Um, there was old, older flower spikes on it that yet to be trimmed off. But uh, these really, in general, will flower due to uh, uh, temperature, change in temperature, uh, lower temperature. So since it is a little cooler in here by a few degrees, it signaled it so if we're going to flower. But that's how you get these to flower. If you're wondering if you want your moth orchid to bloom, um, you gotta introduce, if it, as long as it has the right amount of nodes on it, then it can flower. If it's not, then introduce it to slightly colder temperatures. Not much, but just a, still tropical temperatures, but slightly drop, drop the temperature will trigger it to flower like this. So yeah, we are following, giving you all the updates on it, how it flowers, when it flowers. Growing in clay tablets, clay pebbles like this.